Hi, this is Chuck Oliver. Welcome to this week's Hidden Wealth Solutions Insight. Well, it's tax time, and with tax day just around the corner, I had the opportunity to speak to a client that I want to talk to you about in just a moment, and the amount of tax he learned that he was going to pay, even if tax rates don't go up, and that's assuming he lives a normal life expectancy projection. But here's, here's what I want to teach you. You know, there's people leaving the state of Illinois, in particular the city of Chicago, but also other cities with major pension deficits and with high taxation. And it reminds me to remind people now that it's tax time that when you've got fewer people paying in, because you see, there are, there's more people retiring, let's say in the city of Chicago, than there are people that are paying in to the pension benefit program. And there's a $9 billion shortfall on a couple of those plans. That's not all of them. There's about 25 billion shortfall on all of the pension plans. But guess what that means? People are leaving Chicago because they know, even Rahm Emanuel said, the tax burden will be put on the people because they're gonna have to make up for the shortfall somewhere. Folks, think about your thinking. 10,000 people are retiring a day, and that's gonna happen for the next decade and a half to possibly 18, maybe 20 years. And as a result of that, you've got fewer people paying into the tax system through tax receipts and more people drawing down their retirement which means you're gonna to have to collect more from less. And so I think it's really important, this client I met with this last week, he's got 525,000 in his IRA. And if he takes his forced required distribution, it'll do two things. Number one, the tax on his retirement IRA will be over 535,000 over his lifetime. And he only has 525,000 in there. But if the Congressional Budget Office is correct in their citing of a projection with what our deficit was back in 2010, that the federal tax rate is going to have to go to 60%, then he'll pay over almost 1.1 million, close to 1.2 million on that 525,000, just in tax. Folks, it does not have to be that way. Other clients like many of you watching this learned how they could actually have tax-free retirement income and also leave the money that they didn't spend to their children. And right now, this administration has an attack on retirement because what they're saying is for people that have saved too much in those plans, they're going to subject them to some type of additional excise tax and limit what they can continue to save because they'll define what they believe you should have saved and no more than. And the other one that's gonna catch people by surprise is the required uh, inheritance distribution of IRAs on the next generation where they've gotta get all that money out in under five years, or they're, they're subjecting themselves to added penalties on top of the tax. Folks, let me teach you. I'll be teaching this coming Tuesday. Space is still available. In fact, for those who register, I wanna gift you my seven simple steps to a tax-free retirement video book. In under seven minutes, I can teach you how to get totally tax-free in your retirement. But register at retirementprotected.com, that's retirement protected.com and by going there you can pick certain times but they fill up quickly so let me get you this free video ebook and have you watch how you can get your retirement totally tax-free because what you'll learn is that client on top of that because of those distributions that the government mandated created an extra five thousand of federal tax because of 85 percent of their social security benefits being taxed our clients don't pay tax on their retirement income and they don't pay tax on their social security but you've got to act now retirementprotected.com.